so you just went to the bow shop or you just ordered up your brand new custom bow and it arrived you've got your arrows you've got a tab or a glove you are ready to shoot but where do we begin i mean how do we start improving at archery and uh, sh and begin shooting so we don't start off discouraged and hang it up after just a couple weeks joe here with s3 archery and this scenario just happened actually in my own, very own family to my aunt and uncle jane and chip and i wanted to make a video directly for them as well as for all the viewers out there who have had this happen or are having this happen to them currently so there is a ton of information out there on the internet all of it intended to make you a better shooter but depending on which stage you're in it can actually hurt you if you're applying a lot of these tactics because it's very advanced skills so what i want to do is i just wanted to come to you with a top three list that i would do as a brand new archer who have never shot before or who has only shot a couple hundred arrows that are going to help me improve very very quickly and get on the right path to improving in archery and having a good time so let's kick off this video give you these top three and i'll give you a little demonstration and we'll wrap it up so number one what's the most important thing in archery is alignment so so many times if you were the target you get a brand new bow you grab it and you look at your target like this and you end up shooting like this but if i were to put a t out you'll see i'm aiming very well to the left and that's what a lot of novices do brand new archers do they miss to the left so what i would do is realize that archery is all about a t and if you can get this T, this finger over here, if you point it, if you can get that T aiming at the target, all you need to do when you shoot, lift your arm. You're not pulling your arm in from the left. You're not bringing it around from the right. If you get that T correct, all you're doing is lifting your arm straight up and you'll be aiming right at that target. And you're gonna hit a lot of bullseyes. You're at least gonna be hitting that pie plate that you're aiming at just lifting that arm straight up. It's all because of the T. So that's number one, get perfect alignment. All that means, I mean, in my mind, get your hips perpendicular to the target, put out your arms like this, get that T, just make sure that you're pointing it right at the target, done. Call it, put it out of your mind, but do that before every single shot. Put up your arms, make sure you're aiming right at it, and then you can move on. So that's number one. Number two, what are we gonna do? we're gonna have a very solid anchor. And what I mean by that is we're gonna take either our middle finger, we're gonna take our index finger, one of those two, and we're gonna stick it right in the corner of our mouth. Or if you like to touch a tooth, actually touch one of your teeth and uh, make sure you remember which tooth that is and put it right there every time, never change it. So that is your anchor. And if you're moving the anchor, you'll never be good at archery. So, or traditional archery at least. You wanna make sure your anchor is consistent. So put your finger right in the corner of your mouth. Doesn't matter if you're shooting from two yards, five yards, 10 yards, 40 yards, you always put your finger in the exact same spot in the corner of your mouth when you shoot. That's gonna make you a very good archer very quickly. So great alignment, solid, consistent anchor. And then my third tip for you is for shooting is just start small and get bigger as you go. Don't start at 10 or 20 yards and start shooting. It's just too far, there's too much margin for error and it's too hard for your brain to comprehend what's happening. So instinctive archery is all about conditioning your brain about how to shoot. And the easiest way to do that is start from a very short distance and work your way backwards. Especially in the fact that every trad bow shoots you know, pretty much the same speeds. They shoot somewhere between 140 feet per second up to 200 feet per second. There's not a lot of drop from 10 yards. So if you can learn to shoot something from three yards or five yards, that means you know how to shoot it from 10 yards because it's a point and shoot kind of thing. You aim the exact same way. So my challenge to you all, brand new to archery, is prove to me that you can hit a eight inch pie plate from three yards. And if you can do that, then go ahead and go back to four yards or five yards, prove it to me again. If you can do it after one or two arrows, prove it to me again from seven yards. And just start small. And it may only take you 10 arrows to get all the way back to 10 yards, but start at three yards and one arrow per yard and don't move back until that arrow hits that pie plate. So if you do that, you're gonna condition your brain that you know how to aim and you're gonna find yourself improving very, very quickly. So perfect alignment, 
solid anchor, start small and get bigger. Those are my three tips. Do that and you're going to see yourself improve very quickly. So let me just go back and show you this real quick, demonstrate it, and uh, otherwise uh, just get out there and give it a shot. I think you're going to find it's going to help you very quickly. So I'm going to walk up to about three yards, take a shot, go to five yards, seven, ten, and then we'll conclude the video. I know how to aim from three yards. I'm going to come back here to about five. And I wanted to prove my brain again that I know how to do this. So there's the yellow target down there. It's the pie plate. And I'm going to aim right for the middle. And I'm going to prove to myself that I can do that. Get my hips perfectly aligned. Aim at that pie plate. Right in the middle. Okay. Obviously, I've been shooting archery for a while, so this is going to be easier for me. But if you're a brand new novice, you're going to get hung up at certain distances, whether it be five yards, six yards. You don't know how to aim yet, so it's not going to be this quick. And if it is, I mean, that's really great. I mean, that's lucky for you. You're very talented. But don't be frustrated by that. All we're trying to do is mitigate the odds of getting frustrated by starting closer and then just working our way backwards. So now we're at about 10 yards here. I'm going to shoot this last shot, hopefully I hit the middle, and then I would be confident from 10 yards I know how to aim. Hit that T, I'm even right at that target, I know I'm, my alignment's good, just aim at that pie plate, hit it. Okay, right in the middle. So, hopefully that helps, hopefully uh, all of you find that this is going to make you better archer very quickly and uh, post comments underneath the video and let me know if this helped at all. So uh, otherwise, um, until next time, shoot straight, and thanks for tuning in.